Hello, I'm Mike Zima and welcome to this Shopify marketing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook audiences for your Shopify store. You've already learned how to set up your Facebook ads account, how to set up your Facebook pixel, and how to understand your Facebook campaign structure. It's time to understand your biggest asset, your customer. Setting up your Facebook audiences can be the secret behind an amazing campaign full of successful traffic and high conversion rates. Finding the right Facebook audience is important because there are 1.82 billion daily active users on Facebook and over 2.7 billion monthly active users. And what's more impressive is that 78% of American consumers say they discovered products on Facebook. This means that people are willing to be targeted by products and services that are useful for them. All they need is an ad message that's made just for them. Let's discover more about Facebook audiences and how to use them to your advantage. Who should you be targeting? The answer is simple and yet not so much. You should be targeting your customers, of course, but getting to know who your customers are exactly may be more complicated than you originally thought. In fact, your ideal target audience may not be at all who you were expecting it to be. Understanding this is critical because any audience that are not likely to buy your product well are quite literally a waste of money. It's not all about the creative. Your ads can be amazing. It can be the most beautiful, perfectly crafted piece of advertising greatness the world has ever seen. But if you send the perfect message to the wrong audience, you won't get any results. However, if you send the right message to the right audience, bam, conversions, results, sales. So yes, your ad is important, but your audience is more important still. Types of audiences. Before creating your first audience, you need to understand the difference between Facebook audiences. Here are the three main audiences custom audiences. These are the highest value audiences because they allow you to retarget people who have visited your site, engaged with your content, or interacted with your app. These customers have already shown interest in your business, so it's a great opportunity for you to reach out and get them look-alike audiences. These are the audiences that can help you reach new people who are similar to your audience you already care about. People who like your page, add to cart, or simply are similar to previous customers, Facebook can find these people for you through look-alike audiences, saved audiences. These are the audiences that you define by choosing your target audience's interest, location, age, gender, device, income level, etc. Think of them as your commonly used targeting options available for easy reuse and tweaking. Facebook also has a special ad audiences category, but this is only available for ads in a special ad category, which include housing, credit, or job opportunities. If your business is none of these, then you can ignore this audience type. Let's dive into each audience category to explain a bit more about how they are made up. Custom audiences. These audiences are extremely valuable for you and your business. You can manually add a customer list from your store or retarget users who have visited your website, people who have engaged with your Facebook page content, or who filled out a lead form. If you plan on retargeting users using your website as a source, then custom audiences can create the perfect opportunity for conversions through ad frequencies and the right message. You can reach everyone who visited your website the last seven days, the last 30 days, etc. Everyone who completed a pixel conversion event, add to cart purchase, lead, page view, etc. 
People who have visited specific web pages, perhaps a seasonal landing page, your blog, or a popular product collection. People who haven't come back to your website in a certain amount of time in order to reactivate them as users. And plenty of other custom combinations. If you choose Facebook page as source, then you can target users who have actively engaged with your Facebook content. This means that any user who have liked your page, viewed your videos, or liked one of your posts will be included. You can reach people who have liked your Facebook page, people who have visited your Facebook page, people who have engaged with your posts or ad, people who have clicked on your CTA buttons, people who have saved your posts, and plenty more. It's your audience, so get creative with what you think works for you. Lookalike audiences. These audiences allow you to reach people similar to your customer database or your other audiences. Since these individuals look like your customer, meaning that they match behavior, interest, demographics, locations, etc., it makes them very likely to convert, just like your customer would. To create a lookalike audience, you first need to create a custom audience as your source. Then you pick the target location and finally the audience size, ranging from 1 to 10%. This percentage signifies the people most similar to your custom audience source. All of this combined allows Facebook to have a guide on what to look for when reaching for possible customers. Saved audiences. These audiences are built through demographics and behavioral factors. You can create an audience based on age and gender. You can target people in a specific location and exclude others in different places down to the zip code. You can also target based on people's interests and behaviors or according to their job title or income level. You can go as deep or as narrow as you like. It's your audience. How to find the perfect audience in order to find the right audience? There are a couple of places where you can begin. They are your Shopify store, your Google Analytics, and your Facebook audience insight. Each can help you find useful information regarding your existing clients, potential new customers, and interesting demographic data for an amazing targeting experience. Let's discuss each one a bit more. Your Shopify store audience. Your store is going to be your main source of information. You already have a list of existing clients that you can use to find similar clients. This is something you might have from a previous set of sales. Just like we mentioned, a lookalike audience can be based on people similar to your website traffic, but you can also manually upload a customer list, say with your customer emails, in order to allow Facebook to find people similar to your existing clients. And this is what makes Facebook so powerful when utilizing their ads platform. Google Analytics Dashboard. We already covered how to set up Google Analytics with your Shopify store in a previous course. What you can do with this information is go as deep as you wish. You can find all sorts of demographic data about your existing audience. There's an audience tab inside of Google Analytics. You can go in by age, gender, interests, so this is like affinity categories or in-market segments. You can go into location and language. You can start getting some behavior benchmarks such as engagement and frequency behaviors and whether your clients are new or returning visitors. One that's very useful is going to be the technology. So browsers, operating systems, networks. This gives you a sense of how they're consuming your content. And also you'll have your devices, which goes into also mobile flavors as well. And finally, you're starting to get a sense of the user flows, which shows you the user journey and can help you find your best performing landing pages and much more. As you can see, 
Google Analytics is an amazing source of information that can help you discover exactly who your converting audience is. This will allow you to build a successful audience for your advertising efforts. Facebook Audience Insight Tool. Facebook Audience Insight is an amazing tool to get to know your audience like never before. It can provide extra information about two groups of people, those who are connected to your business's Facebook page and all the rest of people on Facebook. This will allow you to create a campaign and a message that will resonate and convert with people similar to your current audience. This tool can provide a demographic overview with age and gender, breakdowns, educational levels, job titles, relationship status, etc. It can allow you to discover interests and hobbies that you can use in your campaigns to narrow down your targeting. And it can also teach you about lifestyles, a combination of relationship status and location to let you know the type of people that would be interested in your business. Finding your perfect audience isn't about guesswork. It's about understanding your audience's data, including demographics, interest, and even lifestyle. How to create a Facebook audience. There are two ways to build your Facebook audience. The first is directly in your advertising campaign, and the second is through the audience manager. In this tutorial, we're going to show you the second one because it's a better way to stay in control of your audiences. Step one, sign into your business manager. Go to business.facebook.com and click on your business. Step two, go to the audience manager. Click on the business tool menu on the left-hand side and select audiences. Step three, create your audience. Click the create audience button and select your audience type, custom, lookalike, or saved. I'm gonna make a custom website one here. Step four, write down the specifics. If you're creating a custom audience, choose your audience's source, website, customer list, Facebook, etc. For example, if you wanna create a retargeting audience, then you need to choose a website as a source. Then you need to determine the events, website visits, page views, or other conversion events measured by the Facebook pixel. You can narrow down the audience by excluding certain parameters. If you're creating a saved audience, get down to business and be prepared to target everything you need, age, gender, location, interest, behaviors, etc. They're all important. Narrow down your audience even further by using the and or parameters by excluding your other audiences. If you're creating a lookalike audience, choose your lookalike source. In this case, I have all my website visitors and you can add them to your campaign in the ad set level. Under the audiences submenu, you can add them to your campaign right here. You can create an ad directly on the audience manager. Simply click on the audience you want to use, click on the actions button and select create ad. Bear in mind that sometimes audiences need a bit of time to populate and be ready to run in your advertising campaigns. So if you can't use it yet, wait a little and come back later ready to start running your ads to the right customers. And you can see in this case, my audience is too small. Thank you for watching the Shopify marketing tutorial. Every day we're posting new videos and we're investing hundreds of thousands of dollars to make content exclusively for you. So be sure to subscribe and share this on your social networks and let the word out. The best marketing content is found on Zima Media.